Okay, so I printed this off. This is the um, paperwork that I've done on BoardMaker. And if you like, say, if you've got certain iPads, um, I'm sure that I've assigned it to all iPads. So we've got the first page, which is the scones. And then we're going to look at the equipment that we're going to use or have used. So you can get your people to look at what equipment we need and make them read what we need. And obviously one of the targets may be that you need to collect your equipment. So this is where then you'll have to go and find this equipment. Okay. The next step after you've got all the equipment ready is to then think about your ingredients. So I got these prepared or I've got all the ingredients out ready and what I did miss off the equipment list, if we go back a minute, is the weighing scales. I forgot to put the weighing scales on, so I'll go and put that on now. So we used 50 grams of butter, 250 grams of self-raising flour, 50 grams of caster sugar, 50 grams of sultanas, about two to three tablespoons of milk, and one egg. Does that look like an apostrophe? Sorry, an exclamation mark. That should be one egg. I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm finding it hard to read this, to be fair. Uh, so the first task was obviously then to weigh out and put the flour in the mixing bowl, then weigh the butter and put that in the mixing bowl, and then the next task, step three, was to rub in the butter until it looks like breadcrumbs, which you'll see me doing on the video. The next step was to then add, well I added the sugar before I put in the milk, but it says here add the milk, two tablespoons, to the mixing bowl and then put in the sugar and then mix with a wooden spoon, which is what I did. I think I can use my hands to form it all together perhaps, yes I think I did, I can't remember. But if you don't want to get your hands sticky, try using a wooden spoon. Like I say with the milk, just add it gradually and if it's too dry, add a bit of milk and if it's too sloppy then you might have to add a little bit more flour. When it's ready, then roll it into the bowl of the dough and then you can roll out the scone dough and using your cutter, cut out the scones. Then you're going to put them on a baking parchment on the tray. I use that black uh, parchment, that non-stick. Put the scones on the baking tray and then obviously ask somebody to put them in the oven ready to bake. Okay. And that's as simple as it is. And then what I have done, obviously, is I've now put my scones in a bag just to make sure that um, obviously I've got the back door open, it's quite warm, nothing comes in and lands on them and now they're in there ready for this afternoon. Enjoy! And uh, yeah, it's lunchtime now. See you later!